Hello everyone, my name is Sylweed and welcome to School Dragons. Today we're gonna take a look at the brand new update, which is not listed here. Okay, here we go. So the latest update from School Dragons is update add to item purchase selection, watch ads to gain rewards, updated engine, localization improvements, privacy policy update, bug fix and optimization. School Dragons have got a lot of like updates, a little overhaul to make the game better. And the first thing I realized is the overall look of this, um, the login screen, really. It was um, lighter before, it was brown before, it looked more like leather kind of, viking-ish thing. Now it's a lot darker and I don't really like it because it's looking more and more modern. And this is a game about dragons in the viking age and now we're looking all modern and fancy, it's like kind of going away from the original feel and what the game should feel like so it's a minor thing but if I had to put my opinion on it I like the other one better uh, but it, it's fine it's fine it, it looks smooth enough um, it just doesn't feel that Viking-ish but it's alright so first of all let's take a look at the training grounds the lighting and overall ambience is way better we got some motion blur when we turn the camera fast look at that that looks really really cool ah looks very nice uh, Bullseye Lagoon is completely gone, uh, so I don't think that game is gonna come back at all. It was very buggy, I never really truly understood it. So I could, you know, lead to be thinking that they would make a new game in like a long time, a new game uh, to join Flight Club and Thunder Run Racing and Fireball Frenzy. Um, so let's just take a look here real quickly. Just as we're flying across here, it looks really really nice, look at that. Got the nice waves going up here. The waves looks really, really cool. Uh, it's been added to, to the game. And we've also got a little bit on the eyes here. A little bit of, of uh, impact from the water hitting the ice. It's nice. The ice texture also looks overall better. Uh, and just when you look at it, it looks way more beautiful. The rocks got a brand new texture, which is so, so very cool. I mean, just look at that. It looks, it almost looks realistic. <laughs> it almost looks like, uh, like you would be standing right next to a rock. Waves hitting this here. The waves. We have waves, guys. Come on. When you get closer, you can kind of see. Okay, this is how it works. But just when you're flying by, it looks really nice and pretty realistic. You know, I, I think it definitely works. They kind of cut it off. Look at that. So that now we have two islands. Before it was just one long leap of grass going down. Now it's cut off. That's interesting. So they did do a little bit of retexturing on a few of the uh, textures, grass, uh, stone, cliffs, stuff like that. But actually a battle is coming up soon, so I think I'm gonna grab that before we uh, progress. Sadly there was no update on the battleships either, there was no new um, sail on them. A lot of people requested new sails because this is Alvin's sigil. And we are friends with Alvin. The same with the uh, Berserker. Like, Dagger is our ally now, so why would we be fighting his ship? Why can't I just spam? What the? Is this normal? Uh, I swear I didn't do anything. Can everyone do that? Okay, everyone can do that. So, what the hell? That's a little strange, but alright, I'll take it. I don't think that's supposed to happen, is it? It looks like everyone can do it, right? Nobody's trying to get more energy. Oh, that's strange. I'll take it. So here we are at the school, and once again, the texture looks really nice. The lighting is overall improved. We have motion blur, which is very cool. The water. In the school, oh my god, school fish, you're too fast for life. Um, the water here, we got a little bit of waves here too. That's more subtle than on the um, training grounds. But if we look at the water here, look at that water effect on the bottom. It's really good, look at that, it's really beautiful. Just when you're flying across this ocean, it looks so gorgeous. Just. I mean, it's, look at that, even when you're just looking across the water, it's so nice, it's such a nice water effect uh, compared to what it was before. It looks really, really uh, gorgeous, I really like that, it looks very, very good. Uh, whoa, okay, hello there. It's 
Skullgren flying in the ocean. Can I do that too? No? Okay. okay. Might have just been a bug. Uh, so really, really nice job on the water. However, there's one problem with it. And it was my friend Colleen that actually made me aware of this. Um, that when you fly out here, you're like, oh, how, what does the school look like from the outside? And there is a little bit of an issue here because the water is living and breathing on the surface of this rock. Which is highly disturbing. Look at that. It looks like the rock is possessed by something. Uh, that's really, really creepy. One thing that really pisses me off about this update the most, and this is not just on the school, it's on every single map now. Uh, before you had complete freedom to fly wherever you want to fly, but now this is as high as you can fly. As you can see, I'm stopped right here, and it tells me to go somewhere on the map, and I have to go back, and then it pushes me down. It forces me to go down again. Because uh, it won't let me go higher. Look at that. Let's take a look at that again. It forces me down. I'm not controlling my dragon anymore. It pushes me down to stay at this height. I can't even fly above the caldera. I can't even get into the freaking school. I mean, that was one of the things that were great about the game, that you could just fly on your dragon. You could fly wherever you wanted. It, it was amazing. And now I can't even get into the school again because it's blocking me. So that's something I'm really, really pissed about. Because I know why they did it. They did it so you can't fly above and see where the map ends. That so you can't break the immersion or whatever. But I think it breaks the immersion because you can't fly wherever you want with your dragon. You're limited to this little coop now. Got some training uh, dummies here, I think they are. Probably gonna be used for something. And the big thing is that these amazing... Um, motion blur and lighting and everything they're they're only on four maps i think um they're only really on and like complete overhaul with the water too is only on the training grounds at the school as you can see the wilderness here is a lot brighter looks a lot better the water looks great um but again there's no changes to it and uh, you can see it just goes right through like the, the shore there's not much of anything to it. It's very vicious. Look at that stream going on in such a small lake. It looks really, really. Um, but yeah, it's only the lighting here on this map. The lookout has a little bit of it too. We don't have motion blur, uh, however, which is strange. But the lighting is a little bit changed. It looks weird in some places, um, but it's a little bit better. And I think it's all right. I like this more because it looks like a sunset now. Uh, everything really adds up. There's some shadow issues down here. There's some random squares which you can see. Like, what the hell is that? Uh, and here you can see people standing. You can see Flegma shadow here. And fish like shadow just hovering in the middle of nowhere. That's super strange. Uh, I might spot a little bit of a lighting change. Some shadows looks a little bit weird here. Uh, so they are possibly trying to look at the light. But look at this mess though. All these shadows that are all over the place. What is going on? Are you guys seeing this? What the? What's this? Is this purple? Why is it purple? Look at that. Uh, is somebody painting with squares? What the freaking hell is this? Look at that. What the hell? It's radioactive. <laughs> it goes well with my alpha toothless, but. What the hell is it? Look at that. It looks like art, man. Uh, did uh, Odin get creative with this and started to make squares all over the map? What the hell is going on? Okay, so that's nice, I guess. Another update is also that Snarl Sentry Station is on the map now, so you can just go visit it whenever you want. It's a very dark map, but I like it because it's like it's nighttime, so you can go somewhere where it's really, really dark. And just fly around like you see toothless is almost glowing up in the dark because it's just black right so i think it's nice that we can finally visit this map uh just whenever we want that's really cool and look who's back well hello there this uh this song has been gone for a long time it's the npc that flies around this where are you going is this an npc or is this a person this was a person i think 
<laughs> if that was an NPC, that's messed up. It just went to visit Berg or something. Okay, so I thought they had fixed it because when this first guy released, the death song was flying around here because it was it was its nest, you know, it was this is where it lived and you could hear it uh, say some sound sometimes and it was just flying around and uh, it looked it just recreated a new overall ambience and I really thought that she was just back now but that was probably a player even though it looks exactly like the death song that will fly here uh, so I don't know what that was about but it was probably a player uh, so that's gone still okay so they didn't fix that oh my god look at the freaking stream on this water oh my god school of dragons are you okay it's like it's sucking me out oh my goodness all right so I think this island looks overall the same. Uh, I don't think there's any issues with shadows or anything. I just wanted to show you guys real quick the overall idea of the island something. No motion blur here either. So once again, I like this update, but I do believe it's incomplete. And that's my issue with it, because then when you start playing, if a new player come along and they start out at the school or at Berg Docks or whatever you start, you start at Berg Docks now. And they go to these places like um, the school, and the training grounds and they're like oh this looks really really good and then they visit the other islands and they're like this doesn't look good uh, and then maybe they'll get a different idea of the expansion packs be like this looks crap compared to what i started out with and that's just not good i think um so i feel like they're releasing something that they haven't finished i think it looks really great and if all the islands were like this if the, if the entire game actually held up to this new standard I would be blown away. It would be so incredible. It would be so freaking good and it would be so um, a nice confirmation that School of Dragons is still improving its quality. Uh, so I think it's nice, but I think it's lagging. That's what I'm trying to say. I think they did a really good job, but they should have possibly waited and put it on all the maps so that we could really feel it. Now it's like a little bit and you're like, what? And then maybe later it goes a little bit more and you're like, what? And then one day we might have it all and we're like, okay, good, but this took two years. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm not trying to be ungrateful because I think it looks really good on the islands. I really enjoy it, but it does create some inconsistency. That's my only issue with it, especially for a person like me who creates videos, who sometimes creates stories that span over more maps. And one moment I'm recording at the school and it looks really good. And the next moment I'm on Hobble Grand Island and it looks really bad. <laughs> and then it's just like, why did the quality suddenly drop in this video? Like, that's what the thing is. And it's just a bit more confusing because it is so inconsistent. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I think it's a really nice idea and I think it's the right direction. But once again, I think it's incomplete. Um, but I would really love to hear your guys' opinion on this new update. Uh, what do you think about it? Are you excited about it? Do you mind that the islands are weird and uh, strange now and in quality? Or are you just overall excited about the whole thing? Are you excited about you can get gyms now by watching videos? Um, like, what was your favorite thing? And if I did miss something, be sure to tell me in the comment section. I would love to hear about it. Because I'm sure I missed something because it's a pretty big uh, overall update. Uh, they also changed the little icon actually for your dragon, the little smiley. It was a square before and now it's a circle. Uh, so I think that's okay. I like the circle better actually the more I get used to it. I definitely think that's nice. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think and I'll stop talking and you will be able to get on with your day. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. So long dragon riders!